Greetings, and welcome to the Broad Institute. I'm John Rin, reporting on an exciting new discovery published in this issue of Cell. This research has opened up a whole new aspect to our understanding of cancer biology by pinpointing RNA genes as key mediators in cancer pathways. Intriguingly, these RNA genes may also represent new avenues for developing cancer therapeutics and cancer diagnostics. But first, let's see how this all came to be by putting this work in its historical context. Let's take a walk back in time. In 1979, we had a major breakthrough in our understanding of cancer biology with the discovery of a gene called P53. And P53 was found to protect a normal cell from turning into a cancer cell. And in the same year, researchers had discovered these mysterious large RNA genes that don't work as proteins, but rather work as RNA molecules and can even crumple up an entire chromosome. Now over the past 30 years, we've known that P53 is the most commonly mutated gene in all of cancers and has been coined the guardian of the genome. And we and others have discovered that there are hundreds and thousands of these new large non-coding RNA genes playing key biological roles in the cell. So how do these seemingly unrelated discoveries connect? Well, we think we've found the missing link. Let's go see how. So today we know that P53 is one of the most critical transcription factors in cancer. And the way it works is by turning genes on and turning genes off. So these are the missing critical pieces to unraveling how the guardian of the genome is working. And we know a lot about the genes that P53 turns on and how they function, but we know a lot less about how P53 represses or turns genes off. Today we also know that there are thousands of large intergenic non-coding RNA genes in the genome, and that we and others have reported a common theme of these RNA molecules binding to proteins, forming ribonucleic protein complexes, which get localized to DNA and result in the shutting off of gene expression at specific loci throughout the genome. So this brings up the interesting question, is could this mechanism of ribonucleic protein acid interactions repressing genes be the missing link for how P53 is turning genes off? Indeed, that is the case, and this is what we report in this issue of Cell. So let's head into the lab and ask Dr. Warte what she found. Hi, my name is Maite Warte. I am a postdoctoral fellow in John Rins Laboratory, and I am working in a new aspect of the regulation of P53 pathway. I found that P53 specifically induces many non-coding RNAs, and one of, of these RNAs that we name link RNA P21 has a critical function in the P53 pathway. In fact, if we deplete this RNA from the cells, they can no longer undergo apoptosis, and this may cause cancer. How does link RNA P21 do it? Link RNA P21 is a global gene repressor. It can repress genes through interacting with the nuclear factor HRNPK. In fact, if we deplete Link RNA P21 from the cells, HRNPK can no longer target genes for repression, and this results in misregulation of cellular apoptosis. This work shows new aspects of P53 regulation by non-coding RNAs, and hopefully will open new possibilities for anti-cancer therapies. Well, there you have it. To summarize, Dr. Warte's work has demonstrated that many link RNAs are induced by P53, and in particular, link RNA P21 may represent a new class of tumor suppressor RNA genes. However, we've really only scratched the surface. A lot more work needs to be done to investigate the roles of link RNAs in other cancer pathways and how they're mutated in patient samples. But for now, it's clear there's a new weapon in the old Guardian's arsenal. I'm John Rin, and for more information, check out this issue of Cell.